Morgan. I know, I'm not. Morgan. <laughs> she was very soft-hearted, kind, cared about other people. Just your typical girl next door. Morgan Dunbar, youngest of five, was a victim of bullying. Her parents noticed a change in behavior when she lashed out at school, so they decided to dig deeper by looking into her Facebook page. That's when we really started to see that things were not just your typical, you know, you're ugly, you're fat. It was kids telling her, you need to cut yourself, you need to kill yourself, you're not wanted, nobody likes you. These messages of torment intensified after the family moved from the Maritimes. She struggled with bullying since grade one, and uh, she, as soon as we came out here, she came, became depressed after what a guy did. I don't really know anything else, because after we moved out here, she wasn't really personal with me. Twin sister and best friend Bailey, although being bullied herself, tried to stick up for Morgan. I was always her protector, but she didn't like it. Because she was like, I can stand up for myself, but still. Then, on June 27, 2014, at the age of 13, the hurtful words became too much. Typical day. First day of summer vacation, of course, we always booked any of our appointments on that day. We went to their vaccination and public health. She decided when we went, stop to let the dog out, that she was going to stay home. You know, not unusual for her to not feel right after a vaccination. We went to our last appointment. About 5.30, Bailey didn't feel right. I was sick. I felt like I was going to throw up. She turned chalk white. So we knew, you know, something was wrong, but we didn't think Morgan. So we got her home, and the bedroom door was locked. We could hear music. We could hear the dog. But we couldn't hear Morgan, and she wasn't answering. So many people don't even believe me when I say it. But like, I actually like saw her spirit like at the door and I freaked my dad out. And I was crying even more because I knew she was like watching over me too. So when Greg was finally able to get the bedroom door open, that's when we found her. She hung herself from their bunk beds. Since Morgan's death, the Dunbar family has created the Morgan's Mission campaign. We're trying to help kids that are in their troubled teens and everything and help stop bullying and suicide prevention and help mental health and then raise awareness. Bailey, who is still dealing with the loss of her sister, encourages those who are suffering to act. Honestly, screenshot the messages, delete it, show people, and if it's like they're threatening you, get the police involved. And as for how she wants her sister to be remembered. In every good way possible. What she's complimented the people, I want people to cherish that. And like the people that hated her need a life. <laughs> For Go, I'm Jordan Hurtner.